Okay everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Um, so what we've got today is two texts. Um, the first text is about South Africa in general, and the second text is about the Anglo-American Corporation. So we've got two texts that have kind of a similar theme. And um, this video we're going to look at text A, the questions and how we answer them. So let's go down to the answer key. Okay, my standard disclaimer. Um, I don't write any exams. I have nothing to do with writing exams. Um, I just made this exercise because I, I just love making exercises so much. So that's got that out of the way. Let's take a look. Okay, question number one. All right, so um, how did Dutch traders deal with the trade problems they were having with the koi? Okay, so where are the koi mentioned, first of all? All right. So they're in, actually mentioned first in this paragraph number two. We see them here, here, here. Okay, so what did the um, Dutch traders do? Okay, they were having problems with the koi. Okay, so we can see this sentence. The koi raised prices, refused to trade, or attacked whites. Now this is not the answer, of course, because this is what the koi did. Uh, there was a situation, they started to trade. Um, the Europeans started to steal things from them, so they raised the prices, refused trade, or attacked the whites. That's not the answer, of course, because what we want to know is how the Dutch traders dealt with this problem. So we have to go on to the next paragraph. Okay, the Dutch, the trade with the Koi became too unreliable. They couldn't rely on it, so what did they do? How did they deal with this? The answer, of course, is here. The Dutch East India Company established a settlement at the Cape to supply their ships. So they didn't need to trade, they could get supplies from their own company. Okay, so be careful not to just read and look with the first paragraph, because you see this, this is quite an important word, and you start to see it here, but the answer doesn't actually come until the next paragraph. So sometimes you have to read across two paragraphs to find your answer. Okay, number two. All right. Um, couple of answers for this really. What is one way? Okay, one way. That means there might be more than one way mentioned in the text. What is one way that black workers benefited from the new laws introduced by the British in the 1800s? All right, so we've got our time marker here, the 1800s. See that in the text, 1807, 1833. So we know we're at roughly the right time here. Okay, new laws introduced by the British. That's quite an important piece of information. So we can see Britain here, British rule, economic changes. Oh, so that's, we're getting close, but that's not a new law. Okay, so, all right. More important were the British laws. Okay, so here we are. This is telling us we're in the right place. So who's benefiting? Who's getting an advantage from this? The black workers, okay. So what did the laws do? Here's one answer. They tried to create free, free and fair relations between black workers and white masters. Okay, that's one answer. Uh, the slave trade was ended. That's a possible answer, of course. Slavery, slavery was abolished. Yep, okay. These are all benefits to the black workers. New laws protected black workers from being abused and cheated by their white masters. Okay, so look, all of these are possible answers. All right? Or maybe a combination as well, if you just write two things or three things. If you if you write all that, then you've got the right answer. Okay. We only ask for one way, but if you write the whole sentence, then it's all relevant information. Okay, on to number three. What caused individuals to sell their land claims to bigger mining companies, eventually leading to De Beers company control? Now let's take a look. Okay, At first, anyone with a pick and a shovel, this is your mining equipment, could dig for diamonds. So anyone, one person, there we've got individuals there. All right. By 1889, Cecil Rhodes' is De Beers Consolidated Mining Company had taken control. So this was the eventual outcome. This was the result at the end of this list of events. Okay, so we know we're in the right paragraph because we see this information here. But why? Why did individual people start to sell 
Okay, it says here, individuals sold their claims to mining companies. Why? Okay, what was the cause? And the cause of this actually comes here, before. All right, so cause, effect. And the cause is the cost increased, of the cost of mining increased. So actually, that's enough on its own. Yeah, the cost increased. It got more expensive to do it. So individual people couldn't give this money. So they sold their claims to bigger companies. Okay, so this is a standard cause and effect. So you just you just have to search through the paragraph to find the cause. Okay, on to question number four. Okay, we've got the mention of, let's just read the question in, in full. Despite low wages and poor conditions, why did people travel from other African countries to work on the Rand gold fields? Okay, so what do we know? Wages were low, conditions were bad, but people traveled from many different countries to come and work in the gold fields. So why? And again, this is one way you might have to read a cross paragraph. Life inside the compounds was hard. So the places where they were working, okay, they had very poor food, the bed was just a piece of concrete, and they got beaten and abused. Okay, so here we've got an idea that the conditions are poor. But this paragraph doesn't say, oh, it does, it also says, look here, hold wages down, so the wages were low. Okay, so that's this paragraph before actually starts describing um, the conditions and the money they received. But it doesn't tell you about why people were coming. So you've got an idea here. Anything you do, anything you write from this paragraph is basically just repeating the question. You're not answering the question. You've actually got to continue to the next paragraph. Okay, the Rand Goldfields. Okay, so here we are. This is an important thing that we can see in the question. So this should help us to realize that it's not this paragraph, it's this paragraph where we're going to find the answer. Okay, so look, okay, maybe we fooled you with things up here, but actually low wage ships, hardship is a difficult situation. Okay, despite these, wages on the Rand were higher than anywhere else in Southern Africa. Okay, so this is why people did it. The situation was bad, but the money was better than anywhere else. Workers came from as far as, look, okay, other African countries, okay. So, the answer's here in the middle. Add on to number five. Okay. Although gold mining is labor-intensive, can we see that there, a labor-intensive operation, yes, the South African mines were able to make large profits. There we go. Okay, due to the fact that because, okay, so because, is there a because in the paragraph? Yeah, because, yeah, white politicians and mine owners kept African wages artificially low. So this is your answer, which is in the middle of the information. All right, so it's just a case of, like, identifying um, the reason, okay? And the reason is here. Okay, so that's uh, text A. Um, please come back and look at my video for text B as well. <laughs> okay, bye for now.